How's it going everyone? In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look once again at CYF, C-Y-F-E, the all-in-one business dashboard because they just came out with a relatively new update and we're gonna take a look at that next. So stay tuned. Hey everyone, Larry Snow here. And yes, CYF came out with a new update where you can post directly to social media and schedule posts to social media, namely Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. Very simple to add in your uh, accounts. And as far as I know, there are no caps on how many you can bring in, uh, unlike Buffer who does cap you if you're at a certain pay level. Now, if you're not familiar with Scyf, I've reviewed Scyf previously, and you go go take a look at that video here. And Scyf uh, is up always on my second monitor, and it monitors all of your business data points. Before Scyf, I was going to several different websites to check on uh, the growth of email management. How, how, how's my growth of my email list? How are we doing in Google Analytics? How's the PayPal and Stripe? How is the membership going? Uh, how are QuickBooks? Are we getting our invoices out? Are we getting invoices in? Are we getting payments in? All of that is now put through Scyf and controlled in dashboards. So you connect your data, you put them in the widgets that Scyf has, and then you can organize the widgets on your dashboard. And you just don't have to have one dashboard, you can have several dashboards with several widgets. So if you're not uh, familiar with Scyf, uh, I highly suggest that you go take it out. Uh, it's a fantastic tool. So let's go take a look at the new featured widget. Okay, so now we're over on the Scyf website. And in order to, well, let me just back up a little. I already have the uh, publisher window open, but in order to get that publisher window, you first have to create a dashboard. So you'll see here, I have several dashboards. I created a new one just for this demo called social. And to create a new dashboard, you click the little plus here. In order to get the social publisher widget out, you click on add widget and go down to social media and then scroll down to the publisher uh, widget and then click on add. When you click on add, you'll probably see something like this, which is to, whoops, to configure the widget. And uh, to do that, you simply connect the accounts, your social media accounts that you want to see through Scyf. So for instance, down here, uh, it'll say add account for this Pinterest. That's what the other ones will say. You click on add account. It'll go out to that social network, that account to verify that it is you and to give permission to Scyf to access your information. And then when you get them all set up, you click on save widget. Now, if you're familiar with social media scheduling, you, you might say that this looks kind of familiar to something like Buffer or Hootsuite. I think this is more like Hootsuite than Buffer. The uh, downside of using this publisher is that it, there's no Chrome extension. So if, if you're using Buffer and Hootsuite, you very well know that there are extensions for your browser to simply grab a link uh, like when you're on a blog post or something, you can simply grab a link and it will it will populate that link into the scheduler, a little pop-up window, and you cl click on whatever network you want to, whatever account you want to send it to, and it adds in an image and all that stuff, and, and then you're good to go. What I may use this publishing tool for is more for scheduling out marketing or particular blog posts. Uh, I don't see this as an on the fly type of situation, but more of a you know deep scheduled out posting situation. So similar to those tools I just mentioned, you click on whatever account you wanna share something to, I will click that one, and then you share whatever you wanna share. And you can see here, I've already done some previous testing. Uh, 
a couple of things uh, to notice here is that um, it will show interactions for that particular post, which is kind of neat. And it will take you right to that post by clicking on this link. So, all right, so let's put some content in here. Let's, uh, let me just cut to my website and we'll add something in really quickly. We'll add in this link right here. Copy that in. So uh, this is something that you would have to do manually. The other thing that this does not have is a link shortener like Bitly or Brandly or, or even with Buffer with Buffly. Uh, you're gonna have to do that beforehand or you're just gonna have to share it, share it natively in here as a link. So I'm just gonna say this is a test. Uh, the other thing to notice is that you have uh, the ability to add an attachment, but I'm curious to see if it'll actually pick up the featured image in that post and show that instead. So we're gonna leave that as is without the attachment. The other feature it has is to schedule time. Now the schedule time, I noticed that unless you change it to a different month, the time actually won't show up. And I don't know if that's a bug or something. It, it just doesn't show up on the day. Like I, I'm not picking a day here and the time's showing up. And so I'm not picking a day here. So the time should be here somewhere and it's not. So that's something to be aware of. So we're not gonna actually schedule any time, but if you did schedule time, it would be over in this column. And the other thing I did notice when I was testing it for schedule time is that you cannot edit it once it is scheduled. The only way to edit it is to actually delete it and start all over again. So that's something to be highly aware of when you're using this widget. All right, let's click Publish. And it'll say you've been published successfully. And here's our test. So it did do a, its own URL shortener. That is interesting. So we'll click on that. It'll take it right to the post. Yeah. So it didn't show the image from the blog post. So that's something to be aware of. So you will have to add an attachment and it did use its own URL shortener, cy.ly. Uh, but the uh, link does work and uh, that is interesting. So definitely a lot of cons here to this system. Uh, so something that everyone should be aware of, uh, you know, maybe you'll stick with Maybe you'll stick with Buffer or, or Hootsuite, but I, you know, I suggest maybe giving this a try, see if it actually fits for, for your social media marketing efforts. And again, I'll definitely be using this, uh, just more, more testing, obviously, to make sure everything is working correctly. But I do see myself using this again for uh, sharing scheduled out items that involve specific. Uh, strategies and goals versus using a buffer, which I use on the fly. So that was a quick look at the Scythe featured widget, uh, the new social media posting widget. Uh, I want to know what you think. Post in the comments below if you like this type of thing and if this persuades you to actually go and uh, try out Scythe. I'd love to know about that. And if this is something you're interested in, you want me to talk more about these types of tools, be sure you give it a thumbs up or post in the comments below. And if this is your first time here and you're enjoying these videos, please uh, feel free to subscribe. I really appreciate that too. And that way by subscribing, you get notified when the videos go up on YouTube. Thanks for watching.